Hello everybody, I'm going to attempt to do a plan with me. I've not been terribly successful with these, but I'm going to attempt to do one in the This Is Your Year Classic Size Happy Planner. I've pulled my pages out and I've cut a few things. Um, this paper pack that I'm using, and it comes with stickers and a bunch of stuff, I used for an exchange with Andrea at Pentabulous Mama, and it is from Echo Park. You can see here's one of the zip strips from the top of a page, and it's called Creative Agenda, and it has little check marks and just some really cute stuff. I've got a few stickers from that pack that I'm going to use. Um, mostly this is scraps from what I didn't um, send in her little mini loaded envelope that I sent her for an exchange. And I've got, I found these little check marks in one of the Happy Planner sticker books. I've got these little things. I'm not sure what all I'm going to use. It was not a really busy week because I'm getting back from a trip and my nephew got a new job and he's based, I've been a glorified chauffeur for this week. So let's just put it that way. And um, anyway, so I'm just getting back into the groove of things. I filmed a few videos. This is, this is one of them this week. And I did not want to put this video up until Andrea received her, um, her loaded envelope because I didn't want her to see the paper pack or anything. So I'm going to cover this note section with these little check marks that I cut to fit. I hope I did. Yes, I did. Cut to fit this little space right here. Love that. I put this strip across the top and this came from the sticker sheet and it was just right here next to these circles. Here's a little piece of it left. And I decided to use that at the top for decoration. They have these cute little stickers that say the days of the week. And so I'm going to put those there. It's Monday, Tuesday. Oh, let's try to get them the same, you know, where they're <laughs> lining up the same. That would be good. Tuesday, Wednesday. Let's see. And I've still got this thing on my my arm and my hand. However, it's because I overdid it carrying stuff at the expo. And anyway, I didn't give my hand time to rest after I heard it. I never did. And so then the pain started going up my arm. But I've been wearing this brace. And yay, it's really improving how my arm feels. So I'm going to keep wearing it for a little bit. And hopefully it'll get better because... There's no way I'm not going to craft. I'm sorry. Last time I had a pain in my arm, um, it just developed, and it was because I was getting ready for a craft fair, I think. And the doctor said, um, you can't use it for two weeks. You can't craft for two weeks. He specifically said craft, which I thought was really mean of him. But anyway, so he wouldn't let me do anything like that for two weeks. And so that's probably why I'm not going to the doctor now. <laughs> Okay, as a nod to Andrea, who always does this, I'm going to put some of these full boxes down that I cut from the paper, and I don't ever do this, so it's, um, I'm going to put them, I think, along the bottom, I think, and I'm going to alternate them because it's double-sided paper. Yep, that looks cute, and then I cut this page that just has all the days of the week repeated over and over cut this one i'll just keep it at the bottom boy i'm very boring aren't i and i'm gonna put it right there so let me get these on here and this is probably why my hand didn't get better because i never quit using this um my big tape guns and things sorry i just couldn't do it I know it's bad. I, I really should have just, you have an injury, rest it, but I didn't. When, now, when I got back from my trip, I, I did take a day <laughs> and uh, not do anything with it, but that's it, just a day. Okay, I feel like she's much neater about cutting these to shape. Um, the boxes and I love the link below to her channel she's got a lot of happy planner plan with me's she does um, like a faith journal and different things that you might be interested in and I think she does also um, a lot of talking about having a schedule when you're a stay-at-home mom and um, you know trying to get everything done and have a YouTube channel 
I don't know anything about that at the moment, though I did have four children and I definitely know about um, trying to keep it all together and, you know, volunteer at your kid's school, keep the baby occupied and happy. And I had four kids and there were five years and three months between them. So I know a little bit about um, having an organized schedule and trying to get as much done as you can when there's a nap time or the older ones are at school. Okay, that, how crooked did I cut that? Oh, well, we're going to ignore that. We're gonna, going to ignore that. Okay, so over here where I normally put my goals for the things I want to get done for the week, I think I'm going to take these little check marks and put them in a row. Hopefully you can see that, yep. In a row so that I'm checking them off. And I think these are close enough to the color of this kit that it'll be okay. These will go. Especially with the little green ones, I'm just gonna alternate them. And I try not to have like too many must-dos for the week where I leave two lines in between. So I'm just gonna put four of those. And this is going to be a before the pen layout. I don't normally do those. Normally I am writing everything in. Let's just suffice it to say that um, Monday I almost did nothing but be on the road with my nephew. Seriously. He worked uh, 10 to 2. No, 10 to 4. He worked 10 to 4 and then had to be at school at 5 and the school was an hour away. So I dropped him off in the morning, came home, went back and got him, took him to um, directly to school, came home, and then fortunately one of my other sons does the nighttime pickup. But we are dealing with, you know, a lack of vehicles and um, yeah, I'm definitely do, doing a much more driving since he's come to live with us. Um, Okay, and see, this is why plan with me's are not successful for me because I get things on Cricut. <laughs> I am so bad about it. But I'm just putting my to-dos across here, and at the top, I'm going to put my nephew's schedule and the fact that my grandkids are coming to spend the night Friday and Saturday. So, yeah. Busy, busy. And it, it doesn't have anything to do with me that I'm so busy, but I'm busy. Okay, can you get this on straight this time? You know what? That's good for me. Okay, I'm going to have these four days with to-dos. Friday and Saturday, my grandkids are going to be here. I'm having lunch with a friend on Friday. They're coming over to spend the night Friday and probably Saturday night. That's how it always goes. They never just stay one. And I'm going to put the little love this on Friday and Saturday because that's when they're spending the night. That right there. And I'll put something down here to show that I'm having lunch with my friend. What should I do? Okay, I'm going to put a little star here and mention that I'm having lunch with her, I think, right there. Because I don't have a whole long list of to-dos. This is basically filming videos and getting caught back up from being out of town. I had to unpack all my stuff. I'm trying to finish the make and takes because we didn't last very long at the make and take. And I'll explain that when I do a review of the Scrapbook Expo, Stampin' Scrapbook Expo, and specifically the make and take because it, in past years, I have enjoyed it much more this time. I definitely had some things that I didn't appreciate. And I was so glad when they sent me, um, something to a uh, survey to review it because yeah not that happy and Sunday of course is my planning day and I'll get all that done planning the week and checking my nephew's schedule and all of that kind of stuff um, but this is it this is all I'm going to show you right now because I'm going to uh, do the pin afterwards it's too tedious for you to watch me on a plan with me but I really appreciate you watching and happy planning everybody